Hi Capricorn, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with a reading. Capricorn, this is going to be what are their true intentions in love, alright? So this is a reading between you and whoever you are interested in or married to, whoever it is, uh, you know, dating, whatever. Let's see what we have, and uh, this is going to be about you and somebody who are connected on some level, or, you know, yeah, like romantically, right? So let's get into the reading here, or maybe you, you were connected with them, right? Yeah, as I said. So let's see what we have. I think I said that. <laughs> let's see what we have. In the extended Capricorn are their oracle cards and their spread, right? Yeah. So, so let's see what we have right now. Let's look at your recent past energy, Capricorn, and we're going to take this one. It is the Page of Cups reversed. I feel like your current energy is going to be the strength card. Is the card of courage. Yeah, it is. And... The challenge for you is the High Priestess. What you want is the Eight of Swords reversed, and what you are fearing is the Devil. Okay, so you look like you're worried about a situation here. Maybe it's a Piscean or a Scorpio. Maybe it's Capricorn, that's you, uh, a, a fellow or another Capricorn. And maybe it's Leo, right? It could be Leo. The Courage card is showing up here. So we have three major arcana in your, you know, in your energy with five cards. So you're going through some changes here or... Like concerned, oh, you have some major concerns. Your person's past, uh, recent past energy is the Page of Pentacles, mm -hmm. and their current energy is the Knight of Cups. The challenge for them is the Sun card. What they want is the Queen of Pentacles. All right, so this person that you're worried about, Capricorn, is uh, you know you're in their desire position, right here. All right, they want you. Either they want you, Capricorn, or they want the coin you're holding, all right? So let me know in the comment section uh, which is true, okay? <laughs> uh, no, I feel like they do want you, okay? You could be thinking, oh, God, no, Steve. <laughs> These are general readings, you guys. Yeah, okay. And in the other reading, uh, you know, the last reading I put, somebody put, you know, uh, like, you don't believe uh, the world, the, the earth is changing. Uh, yes, I do, but it's a very complicated uh, subject, and please don't, we won't discuss it here, nor in the comments, okay? Okay. So, uh, yeah, forever, whoever put that uh, in there, yeah. So let's get back to the reading, okay? And let's see uh, what you are fearing here, or what they are, I, uh, I beg your pardon. Two of Cups reversed. And uh, the Two of Cups reversed, they're fearing or doubting it. So this person, uh, you know, when you're showing up in their desired position, yeah, it could be some real desire, Capricorn, like, right? Like some real, uh, you know, your last reading was talking about how mesmerizing you guys are. They could, when they want you here, you know, this could be like really badly, right? Yeah, to kind of help them with their situation. <laughs> OMG Capricorn, all right, I feel like you guys know what I mean, right? <laughs> but, you know, okay, but you, you know, in their doubts or their fears is the Two of Cups reversed. This means that, you know, they're worried here that they are not going to have you, all right? So, okay, so there's a lot of Leo energy here. Maybe there is a, a Leo that, you know, Capricorn that you're into. But let's see here, let's get into the reading right now to find out. And the challenges uh, here, you know, maybe a Piscean or a Scorpio is blocking you here. I feel like I mentioned that a minute ago, but uh, maybe they need their clarity about this Piscean or Scorpio. In other words, maybe they are with a water sign right now, possible. You know, not all, of course, uh, not all of Capricorn's partners are dating a Pisces or a Scorpio or, or even no one, right? Yeah. <laughs> but... Uh, I feel like you're in love with somebody here and you're kind of waiting for their cup or you would really want them to come forward. Yeah, and that's, you know, that's the kind of the few cards we have here. I mean, there's more than a few, but yeah. And I feel like you kind of want to release yourself from this kind of waiting and wanting. I feel like you do. Mm -hmm. And for some reason you are fearing, your, fearing yourself. You could be fearing fear itself, right? Yeah, fearing fear itself, all right? Mm-hmm. Okay, let's get into the reading. You could also be fearing that you're going to be stuck in bondage about this person, you know, until the end of time, until kingdom come, all right? Yeah, you're like, oh, shit, I can't, don't want to keep, like, keep dealing with this, all right? Power and light, can you help me out? Okay, so let's see what we have. <laughs> let's see what we have for uh, 
Capricorn and their person, whoever they are. And we're going to take this one. It is co-create. Okay. Well, I feel like you both want to co-create with each other, right? Whatever that means. Maybe you guys want to co-create and have kids. Maybe you want a small business together, right? Mm -hmm. The most beautiful creation for me is a little baby, for sure. And the owl is here. It's talking about wisdom, right? Whenever we see the owl, yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there looks like there looks like there's like a dinosaur egg here. Oh, como ridiculo that is, but whatever. I mean, you know. <laughs> And uh, and then the cheetah is here. I feel like that's a cheetah, or it could be a leopard. I don't think it's a leopard. I think it's a cheetah. But uh, long story short here, uh, the, the, once the owl shows up, this is all about wisdom here. Mm -hmm. So let's see. Let's get another card for Capricorn and their person. And we have a fork in the road. Okay. Uh, we're tired of the fork of the road. No, we want move that fork over. All right, yeah, move it over. All right, so let's see what else. Let's get another. Let's get uh, a couple other oracle cards for Capricorn. Yeah, let's use these cards here. Show me the energy for Capricorn in their person, please. And we have attachment. Yeah, somebody is attached, but they've taken off the mask. Interesting. Like they are admitting that they're in love with somebody here, right? They've taken off the mask, this woman. She's chained over here. OMG. So she's chained. She's been chained maybe uh, to a lie. Like, I feel like this, what this is, is though this lady here uh, has been in bondage. That she was in love with somebody and now she's taken off the mask. I feel like this is your person. Because they want you here. And over here, they're doubting they're going to be together with you. Two of Cups reversed. OMG. So let's, let's keep going and uh, let's crack the case. All right. Uh, let's call it Watson. All right. So we got for Capricorn. In the recent past, you had the Page of Cups reversed. And the Five of Swords. So, you know... I felt you, you felt like you were in despair here because something didn't work out right. Maybe you thought you needed an apology. Page of Cups reverse can be like an apology is needed sometimes. Let's see what else we have. The Nine of Cups. I feel like you were in despair because this person was your wish. Mm-hmm. You could have really wanted, you could have been in despair here. Uh, because you really wanted their cup, right? You really like wanted a new start with them. Sometimes page of cups, and is that energy strength card is your current energy? Let's see here. I'm painting a little little scenario here clearly, and we have the world card and the queen of cups. So Capricorns is not you. You're not the queen of cups. No, you're down here, the queen of pentacles. And you know, uh, I feel like there's so your person is either this Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or they are somebody else. I do feel like there's third party energy here. And I don't feel like you're... I mean, for some of you, maybe you're with this person. But it, it could look like... It, I mean, it seems here that you're not with them. But they maybe have somebody. And the Five of Swords... I feel like you were in chaos and conflict over it. You could have felt like they kind of like... Like there was manipulation. Usually the Five of Swords talks about some manipulation. Mm -hmm. So let's look at uh, the challenge for you, Capricorn. And I feel like this is an ending and a new beginning. I feel like you are right now uh, in this. I feel like you're trying to gain your courage or you are doing it. This is what I'm not completely sure of. I feel like you're trying kind of because right here you want to release yourself from the situation. Eight of Swords reversed. Right? And over here, I feel like you're trying to use your courage here. I feel like a cycle ended, and you want a new cycle with this person. Like You want them to come forward and start again. Mm -hmm. Eight of Cups in the recent past for you with the Nine of Cups. Yeah, they walked away, or you walked away from them. Some type of uh, manipulation. Mm -hmm. Maybe you guys were younger. When we see the Page of Cups, sometimes it, it talks about like somebody who's young, like an adolescent. Mm-hmm. You could talk about grown people, though, who, you know... So one time I did a reading, and I go, why is the baby showing up? You know, the cards that actually that show the baby. 
and uh, the oracle cards, and the lady said, because he, well, there's no child at all. He acts like a child. I was like, uh-oh, okay. So let's look at the high priestess and look at the challenge for you, Capricorn. And it is temperance. Okay, so there could be a Sagittarius, Sagittarian here. Mm -hmm. It could be anybody, though, but there's somebody who's challenging you here. And interestingly enough, we have two major arcanas challenging you. That means there's a big challenge for you. Let's get another card for Capricorn's challenge, the Five of Wands. So you're feeling challenged um, by either a water sign, Sagittarius. It's, it's you know, I feel like you want to heal the situation with this person, whether it was some manipulation maybe in the recent past. It could have been in the, in the, in the long, long past, long ago too. King of Wands. Okay. So this could be the Sagittarian here. It could be Leo right here. Mm -hmm. And it could even be Aries, although we haven't seen Aries show up because they're general readings. But I feel like you feel really challenged here mm -hmm. by a fire sign or your person is a fire sign. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody maybe needs to take off their mask here and admit their love. Admit that they're in bondage here. It's all in bondage about a love, right? Somebody could be with somebody here uh, with this card attachment where the lady's like, you know, she's, uh, she's bounded, right? She's bounded or bound by these chains. Yeah, bound. She's bound by these chains. And she has just removed the mask and she's looking up at it like, wow, you know, somebody could be in a relationship here where they feel chained and they're taking off the mask like, this is not what I want. I feel like, uh, you know, I, I feel like your person is this person who's wearing a mask. I feel like it has to do with you, of course. And the Eight of Swords reversed is what you want. And we have the Lover's card. So I feel like you want somebody to release themselves from some type of a, a bondage. Yeah, and remember the chains are here on the devil card. This is you, Capricorn. I feel like, you know, I mean, but it doesn't have to be you every time, every position, right? You could be in this energy. But the chains are here as they are on the attachment card. Yeah, this, so I feel like, you know, I feel like you want... It's possible you want this person, your person, to release themselves from these chains and choose you. Right? Choose you, the lovers. It's interesting how the angel is on the lovers and the devil is with the chains. Yeah. And I'm not, you know, it's just... Uh, just mm -hmm. In other words, God is, you know, seen here. I mean, there's people who actually, uh, like believe in this type of stuff, right? These chains and all this craziness. Yeah. I feel like God is, you know, with the angels and these people here who are, you know, who are in love. Whereas, you know, the devil is here like chaining these two, these two people are, you know, bound here by these chains. OMG here. This is kind of like not love related, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if you guys do, but uh, we're not gonna. I'm not gonna talk about it too much here. I just it just kind of hit me right here, right now. Yeah. And we know in the tarot, if you're in the devil energy, you're stuck. Like you're bound, right? You're bound by feelings of guilt, or bound by feelings of loss, or pain, or jealousy. But you're bound, right, in bondage, over something. Mm -hmm. I just like how the lover's card is. These people are free and they love each other, right? And the lover's card is about, it's about choices. And so is Gemini. In the astrology, Gemini is all about choices. It is. Mm -hmm. As Leo is about love. And I feel like Sagittarius is about freedom. Mm -hmm. So let's get another card. Why you want the lovers. Not why you want, yeah, why does <laughs> Capricorn want the lovers? And the King of Cups, you guys, whoa. 
So, you know, maybe you want this, uh, maybe the person you want is the King of Cups. I feel like you want, you, you could be wanting your person to choose between you and a water sign, possibly. Mm-hmm. So let's see what else. For Capricorns, desire, the Five of Cups, OMG. I feel like you brought your person to choose here and that you've been sad and grieving. I feel like you already had a sad ending with them. I feel like you did. On some level. Mm -hmm. Because this right here, attachment card, where the lady's taking off her, you know, her mask, she's, that chain wasn't put on her. She's still attached to the chain. She's still bound by the chain here. So the, that chain wasn't just put up there yesterday, right? No, it wasn't. Mm -mm. All right, so, yeah, okay. And that is also a five. Fives are challenges, and they are uh, about crises and conflict. Let's look at your fear, the devil, the knight of wands reversed, and the three of swords reversed. So you're fearing this. I feel like you are doubting a third party is going to end. Uh, you could be. You could be doubting this person will ever come forward, and you could be doubting they're ever going to take action, possibly. Knight of Wands reversed. You could be also fearing they will never have the courage, possibly. The Knight of Wands reversed can be courage, a lack of. Yeah, in the upright, he has courage, right? He's riding along kind of fast and, you know, thinking he's so, you know, fly and having fun and all this and that, right? And, uh, but you could be like, I feel like you're in fear here and your own bondage because you think they're never going to have the courage here to end a third party. And this this reading might be, you know, it could be a continuation, all right? This could be episode, you know, uh, 589. It could be, right? So the Page of Pentacles is your person's past energy with the Nine of Pentacles, which is the single card, and the King of Pentacles, OMG. So they look like they became single here to, to come get you. Right? That's you, the King of Pentacles. Unless there's another earth sign here. I don't see another earth sign. Not, I mean, I don't see the Virgo card, and I don't see the Hierophant here. Still could be, but, you know, I'm not seeing that here. So this is their energy right now, uh, or in the recent past. It looked like they... But I feel like this is a little incomplete. I feel like it is. I feel like they're trying to get their clarity here right now, the sun card. The sun could be challenging them because they know they can only be happy with you. Yeah, I feel like this person knows that. It could have been one of my readings in the past. They know that they can only be happy with you. All right. Let's get another card. The Seven of Cups. Okay, now I got it. They're making a really difficult choice right now to have a new start with you. Page of Pentacles. And to be single, Nine of Pentacles. So, as I said earlier on, this person is with somebody. You want them to go. You're like, please, unchain their heart. Like, not unchain mine. Well, kind of. But you want them to unchain this person. Let them out of bondage. Because if your person is not really in love with somebody and they're really in love with you... Then they are uh, binding somebody else. Yeah, they're, you know, they have somebody else in chains, which is really unfair because that person can go find somebody who does love them, right? Like my mom used to say, there's, there's somebody for everybody in this lifetime. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of us have to be wise enough to see that when we receive or when we find that person. And others of us, sometimes we can waste our time with people who are no good for us. And so how can you find the right person? Right? Yeah. So let's get the Knight of Cups. This is their current energy with the Two of Swords. So they are they look like they are confused over here. I, feel, I thought they were making a really hard choice, Seven of Cups. They look like they still don't know what to do here. But they could be making a hard choice, and then maybe they don't know what to do about a water sign, Knight of Cups. Because we know there's a water sign here, Capricorn, because the king and the queen are both here. Yeah, they both bought a ticket to this reading, all right? Mm-hmm. So we're sending the money to, you know, uh, Capricorn's love fund. Yeah, we are, all right? <laughs> Let's get one more card. And the judgment card. Five of Pentacles. This is so clear. Your person doesn't know. If they're going to have a rebirth with you, OMG, I'm mad at them. I feel like they changed their mind. Or they, like, like keep reverting, right? Because this is like, you know, they're unsure right here. In the past, they were confused with the Seven of Cups, right? 
They were here. They are unsure about a rebirth with you because they have to leave somebody out here. Five of Pentacles. And the challenge for them was the Sun card. The Page of Wands reversed. So the Page of Wands reversed. It talks about. Uh, it can talk about resisting change. Mm -hmm. I feel like they don't have their clarity here. Sun card about uh, about walking a new path. You know, or resisting change. Mm hmm. Or resisting. And let's see. Let's let's get another card on that page of wands. The six of pentacles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like what's challenging them is their clarity. Six of swords. Yep. Whether or not they're going to leave. Six of swords. And the challenge might be money for them. Whenever we see pentacles in the challenge or the fear position, right? It could be about money. They have a lot of pentacles down here. I mean, you're two of them, though, right? King and queen, Capricorn. You're taking up all their pentacle kind of cards. All right, don't do that. Okay, we need a fair, just reading here, okay? <laughs> queen of pentacles is what they want. Let's see. Knight of Swords reversed, and let's see, we have Three of Wands. Yeah. I feel like they want to hurry up and come. Knight of Swords reversed, but they feel kind of immobilized here. Mm -hmm. I feel like they want to show up for you. I do, but they have to, like, they have to cut the, break these chains. That's what this is. This person's been wearing the mask here. They've been chained here. they got to break the chains, remove the mask, and move on with their life. This is a heavy, heavy card until they are, uh, you know, ready to do that and face the truth. This person's living a lie. That's what this is in terms of who their true love is. It's you, right? Okay, Romeo, Capricorn, Capricorn. Uh, how's it go? Romeo, Romeo. Uh, something like, how do I love thee? Something like that, all right? I feel like that's you. <laughs> Let me count the ways. Yeah, there's a lot of ways here, okay, Capricorn? They probably love you, you know, physically. The other, the other reading, it was backside, frontside, all right? I think that was your reading. They probably love you physically, spiritually. Um, they love how you cook. That you, maybe you guys have fun. Mm -hmm. They might love your massages, Right? They love how smart you are. You know, Capricorns are intelligent. I don't I don't know any Capricorn that's not smart. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> Let's see what we got. <laughs> I feel like what they want here is to hurry up and take some action and manifest this with you. But the Knight of Swords is in the reverse because they're still immobilized. Yeah, they are, guys. Mm -hmm. Let's look at their fear. The Two of Cups reversed. The Fool card, yeah, I feel like your person might be Aries too, right, with the King of Wands here, in your challenge. They might be with a water sign, they could be with a, well, they could be with a Sagittarian, I mean, it's just going to depend, there's, yeah. Gemini's in this reading. I feel like mostly in this reading it is fire signs and water signs in you, Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what we got. So this is what they are fearing, the Two of Cups and the Fool card. Like they know they're not ever going to like uh, consummate this love with you. Like really uh, come, you know, come and really be with you. And uh, you guys know what I mean by consummate, right? Yeah. I feel like they really want to do this with you, Capricorn. I don't know why. It's showing showing up in this reading, all right? <laughs> yeah, they want to co-create. Look at that, Capricorn. Co-create. You guys know what that is, right? Okay. <laughs> okay, so they're fearing here, Capricorn. Things are not going to work out with you guys, or they can't come and, you know, be with you until they, like, you know, figure out what they're going to do, until they break these chains, yeah, with that attachment card. So we're going to see in the extended reading, right, and all about them. We're going to see what they're going to do. I feel like we're going to, uh, we're going to get closer to, uh, you know, closer to the, uh, the truth here. Yeah. And to the, uh, solution, I feel like, mm -hmm. closer to breaking, uh, kind of cracking the case. We're going to see the underlying energies, how they feel about you and how they are seeing the situation or how they feel about it. What's unknown or what they could be hiding Capricorn what they fear, what they're afraid of, and their true intentions. 
Thank you so much for joining me here. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.